Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Eurovision interview here on the channel. Uh, we are super excited that we are able to interview Slovenia's artist for this year, LPS. How are y'all doing today? Hi, we're great. Yeah. Thank you. Good, 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 good. And how has the Eurovision experience been for you so far? It's super, uh, it's amazing. Uh, it's like uh unthinkable to us that this would ever happen as we are very happy to be here like every aspect of it just being here in turin and then going to the reception hall it's amazing uh, and all of the people working here are uh, super friendly super helpful so we are really glad for for all of this awesome and i know as well for y'all i mean y'all went through the ringer uh, to get here, going through the EMA Fress process, which then took you to the final. Uh, you know, honestly, if, if people had actually watched, y'all barely qualified uh, into the actual EMA process and then flip it around and win the whole show. When you actually officially applied to do kind of the EMA Fress process, did you actually expect to make it to Eurovision or was that kind of a happy accident? Uh, I mean, we are gr very grateful that we were, <laughs> but uh, we, uh took this as an opportunity to present ourselves to a wider audience and Heather and have our first appearance on national television. So we're very happy that this escalated to the point where we will uh, perform on one of the biggest stages uh, in the world and the biggest competition, you know, biggest music competition. So it's been great so far. Yeah. And I, I wanted to ask this. Uh, so I know that LPS is short for last pizza slice which is a very interesting uh, name for a band. So could you tell me the story behind how the band name came about? Uh, well, yeah. Um, at first, LPS meant something different in Slovenian. Um, and we really liked the sound of the acronym. We still do. Um, but the original meaning uh, didn't really represent us well. So we, um, we decided to change it. But... Uh, for like three or four months, we didn't really know what to name ourselves. So we were just LPS with no meaning at all. Um, and then I think at one band uh, rehearsal, uh, Giga just said we could be last pizza slice. And I think we all just laughed it off like some kind of joke. Uh, but after a few days, we had no ideas and we just kept coming back to this and we we're like, yeah, that would be pretty great. So it just stuck. Okay, all right. And, and, and Philip, for you as well, I wanted to ask, um, you know, I, I've been listening to this song for a while and I'm like, wow, this is just such, such a fun, you know, upbeat song. And then I read the lyrics in English and I realized that the song isn't necessarily quite so happy. Uh, could you kind of share a little bit about the message of the song and, and what it's about? Uh, well, yeah, the song is about, um, you know, emotions we experience during uh, breakups or being cheated on, more specifically. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a pretty sad song. And as you said, there's a big contrast between the sound and feel of the song and the actual meaning of the lyrics. Um, but at the end of the song, as we can see in our music video, um, there's like a, a change up, some closure that you get when you move on, meet a better person um that you trust and it's just um you know at the end it turns out to be happy but uh most of the song is actually pretty sad yeah yeah well and i think that that kind of shows you the whole emotional spectrum uh <laughs> from a lyrical and a musical standpoint so i also know um and i want to all kind of close up here on this this final this final question uh one of my favorite questions to ask and you can ask or answer this all individually or you can do it as a group you can figure that out. But who is going to get your 12 points for Eurovision this year? Ooh. Uh, like what we would give or what Slovenia would give? What you would give specifically. Zala? You can start. Okay. Um, me personally, I would uh, give it to the Netherlands. I, I was uh, fascinated by her performance in Amsterdam. And uh, ever since then, I just fell in love with the song, actually. <laughs> uh, yes, I would uh, get, give my 12 points to Netherlands, too, because I just love her song and the story behind the song and everything about it. Yeah, well, I think there are many great contestants this year, so 
it's probably a really hard decision, but uh, I'd give it maybe to um, to Sweden. I'd give my 12 points to Lithuania because the performance is, uh, I would say, minimalistic for Eurovision, but it works so well with her songs and her movement, uh, as we discussed with Zala, uh, is amazing. Her dress is also beautiful and the whole song, uh, it mesmerizes me, so I would definitely give 12 points to Lithuania. Yeah, I would probably give my 12 points to Netherlands or the Sweden. I like perfect, perfect. And I did say that would be the last question, but I lied because I realized I have a couple more minutes. So I also want to ask you after Eurovision, what are the plans? Is there a, an album that'll come out? Are y'all going to go on tour? Anything on the kind of on the plans? Uh, no, the band stops when. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, our contractual uh, obligations. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we definitely plan to have as many concerts as possible and release as much new music as we can. So yeah, we, you, you should definitely expect an album and as well singles and then an album in the future. So we'll be working hard to make it happen. All right. Well, if y'all happen to be uh, in the United States and want to do a concert somewhere in the Texas, Oklahoma region, you all just let me know. I'll do some free promotion for you. OK, an guess... opportunity <laughs> for myself. We'll be very happy to take it. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Well, my final question for you all, uh, this is just a little bit of a fun question, but what would people be surprised to learn? about you whether it's like for an individual standpoint a, a hobby a talent a secret passion um i'm not sure <laughs> probably that 80 percent of the band can badly speak spanish <laughs> and zala can speak french very well yeah. so you can discuss with her in french if you know so. <laughs> not for me <laughs> <laughs> So that means um, I'm sure if you uh, happen to bump into Chanel at some point during this process, I'm sure you can have oh, an 80% well conversation with her. Well, uh, all, she... all of us are present. Well, yeah. well, <laughs> we were talking slow-mo, but... Uh, <laughs> Well, alrighty. Well, um, I want to be mindful of your time. I know that you all have a pretty long day um, ahead of you and everything like that. But I'm really excited that we were able to kind of have this moment to, to kind of chat and everything. Uh, for those who are watching this interview, make sure that you tune in to the first semifinal so that you can watch LPS's performance, but also support them in that semifinal as well. Uh, make sure that you support us here on the channel by clicking the uh, notification bell, the like button, the subscribe button, all of that. Um, and also go show some love to LPS specifically and go follow them on social media, on Spotify, iTunes, wherever you get your music so you can kind of support them in their journey as well. But with that, I am going to leave you all with very, very simple goodbye. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Thank you so much. much.